Hello, this is Trinet here. Uh, before I go into the deck profile, I think that you should all check out uh, Sirius Hydro Spy's channel. Uh, he posted a great tutorial on how to play Kaijudo recently, and if you're confused about how the game works, I've been getting a couple comments and messages that, from people who are just asking how this game works because it looked interesting to them. And he posted a great tutorial on how to play the game and how it works. Well, onto the deck list. This is uh, Black Feather of the Shadow Abyss Control. I played this for a match on earlier videos I just uploaded. Uh, it's basically the most linear thing ever, but it's absolutely hilarious when it goes off. Uh, let's just get into the deck list and I'll explain later. Uh, we have blockers for three Sunlux, Sunstock Seed, uh, three Keeper of Clouds, three Star Lanterns. Over there we have two Skeeter Swarmers. You need a few blockers to stay alive because you need to hit the five. And once you hit five and can drop a Black Feather, you can kind of go off if they don't have removal, but eh, I'll get onto that later. Uh, for removal, we have three Bone Blades, three Tornado Flames, two Comet Missiles, three Terror Pits, a Rock Bite, and yeah, a lot. And then we have uh, two Fumes, which are kind of just filler. They could probably be cut for... They'll probably become more copies of Keeper of Dawn when I get more keeper, copies of Keeper of Dawn. Uh, there's one Shock Gnaw, which could possibly just become a third Blinder Beetle. I'm not sure. I just wanted to test it. Uh, then we have three Gilla Flame, three Black Feather, uh... We have uh, one Sunshock, one Keeper of Dawn. I I'm really liking Keeper of Dawn. I think the card is extremely good in a deck like this, where you just want to keep recurring removal. Uh, Keeper of Dawn plus Comp Missile is like a Razor Kinder for blockers. Uh, Keeper of Dawn plus the Sunshock lets you tap a guy. And just in general, Keeper of Dawn always gives some kind of value. Uh, then we have two Blinder Beetles, a Razor Kinder, Rock Bite, uh, two Skier Swarmers, and three Skull Cutters. Uh, the basic idea of this deck is to live to turn five. <laughs> And once you leave to turn 5, you go turn 5, Black Feather, Shadow Abyss. And when that survives, you start just playing kill spells like Comet Missile or Gill of Flame, and just keep trying to kill their guys so that they can't really... They really just can't play any more guys, because you just keep drawing cards. And they have to have an out to Black Feather. So if they detect this very removal light, you have a very good matchup against them. Um, when this deck doesn't draw Black Feather, as you saw in game 1 of that match, it does pretty poorly. Um... You, you really need some way to get your card draw engine online, because all the deck's doing is one for one and playing blockers. You really can't win without uh, Gill of Flame or Keeper of Dawn, or maybe even Shock Knock, just beatdowns. Uh, Skullcutter was very good in this kind of deck, because if they attack with just about anything, except, I think, uh, Bat Breath, I guess, Skullcutter can just attack into it, kill it, and, you, and then you draw a card with the Black Feather. So it's, it's just a, another versatile removal spell, and it really only costs three, even though it takes a turn. Um... The red splash, I guess, again, is for the Rock Bite, the three Gill of Flames, Tornado Flames, and the Comet Missiles. Uh, originally, I got this idea for the deck off of a friend of mine, uh, Joe, who was just playing plain Black White. And I thought red would be an interesting addition, because it gives a win condition and some more removal spells to power up your, your uh, Black Feather a little more. Uh, I think he was playing Extra Fumes, uh, but he was playing Spectre Claws, I'm not entirely sure. But, y yeah... I liked how the deck worked. I would probably test it more. I'm not sure how good its matchups are, but I'm, I guess it would do okay against aggro. You have enough blockers and you have fumes to get rid of Gill of Flame. And you can just keep killing their guys and eating them with Black Feather so they can't commit to the board. Um, so yeah, overall, I liked the deck. I'd play it again. And yeah, until next time. I should have more uh, videos coming up tomorrow because six videos tonight wasn't enough. <laughs> See you next time.